Making muscles. We were up in my grandmother's big oak trees, the ones in front with the moss hanging down like witch's hair. A Tarzan movie had come on the early show, and me and my cousin Johnny Ray were up there hanging on limbs with our shirts off, making muscles. Johnny Ray could sound just like Tarzan when he called the elephants. That was the coolest thing that Tarzan did. The problem with playing with Johnny Ray was that he always had to be the cool dude. When we played Gunsmoke, I had to be Chester. When we played Wild Wild West, he was always Jim West, and I had to be Artemis Gordon. The worst was when we played Roy Rogers. I had to be Pat. It was not that much fun at all, but if Johnny Ray didn't get his way, he would pitch a mortal fit. Then Grandmother or Aunt Susanna would come out and tell me to just let Johnny Ray be who he wants to be, that it wasn't worth all the aggravation. With Tarzan, though, I put my foot down. I wasn't going to be boy, and I damn sure wasn't going to be cheetah. Johnny Ray's face started to ball up. Then he started to scream. My mama always said that Johnny Ray was spoiled rotten, so I said, You're spoiled rotten, Johnny Ray. Well, that pissed him off, and he knocked me out of the tree. I screamed and ran into the house. He followed me. He was screaming and crying, too. Aunt Susanna was running the vacuum cleaner in the living room. Now, now, what is all this commotion? Bobby said I was spoiled rotten. He is spoiled rotten. Where did you hear that? asked Aunt Susanna, putting down the vacuum nozzle and staring at me with her hands on her hips. Everybody says so, I asserted. Granny, Aunt Florence, Uncle William, even Mama. She suddenly looked very hurt, like this was all news to her, but I couldn't see how it was, since she was the reason Johnny Wade was spoiled rotten in the first place. Mama, can you come in here a minute, she said. Granny was in the kitchen doing something. She came through the door, wiping her hands on her apron. What is it, darling, she said. Bobby says, you said that my Johnny Ray is spoiled rotten. Do you really believe that? Well, honey, it's right hard to deny. You give that boy anything on earth he asks for. You know as well as I do it's so. He don't know what it's like not to get his way. Aunt Susanna flew into a rage. I'd never seen her like that. Johnny Ray, what is the problem, she said. Bobby won't let me be Tarzan. Bobby, why can't Johnny Ray be Tarzan? Why can't y'all both be Tarzan? Because there's only one Tarzan, I told her. Johnny Ray always gets to be the cool one. It ain't fair. Johnny Ray, let your cousin be Tarzan. For a while, then you can be Tarzan. No, screamed Johnny Ray emphatically. If I can't be Tarzan, I ain't going to play. You see what you've done created, Granny said. You really think my boy's spoiled rotten, don't you? Well, me and Johnny Ray can just go on home. Johnny Ray, run, pack your suitcase, and get ready to go. We ain't about to stay here and be insulted. Run on. Johnny Ray gave Granny a smug look and then took off upstairs as if he'd been vindicated. A few minutes later, they were in their car and headed back down to Orangeburg. I looked at Granny. She looked at me. Then she smiled and said, Now you can be Tarzan all afternoon if you want to.